I'm going to show you a little technique developed by eccentric German photographer Calvin Hollywood. Uh, it's called Freaky Detail. And what's so unusual about this, we're actually going to use blur to enhance the image. Well, the first thing we need to do is select the background, shift it down to the new layer palette so that we're duplicating it as a background copy. What we now have to do with the background copy is to invert it, which will turn it into a negative. To do that, you press Ctrl and I. And there we have our nice looking negative. What we now have to do is select Vivid Light. And that will turn it into a bland grey image. Nothing spectacular here, but you just wait. Now we go to Filter, Blur and Surface Blur. Now our sliders here, where we're actually creating blur because it's inverted, is having the opposite effect. It'll sharpen it. A good starting point of your radius is around 30 pixels. But just for demonstration, if I move it around here, you'll see it actually increase the things. Let's, uh, let me set it to about uh, 49. That'll do. And the threshold also has an effect, so we'll play with that. I'll just take it right up to show you. So let's do our threshold at around 73. Once you're sort of happy with the results, not that you can actually see the finished thing, you need to play with this one. Uh, you can do from subtle to quite extreme effects. We then click our OK button. Now to create a merged uh, new layer, there's a bit of a finger exercise for you. You press Shift, Control, Alt, and E on your keyboard. That produces this new layer for us. What we now have to do is turn off the background copy that we created. And for our new layer that we've done, we simply select Overlay. And there you have it, your freaky detail. You can actually go in and just erase parts uh, and play around in post-processing to do it. For this example, I'll just leave it on the whole image. This is our finished image. We turn that off. That's our original. Back to our finished one. Enjoy.